I bet you don't think twice when you see an airplane flying overhead. But back in the early 1900s, most people didn't believe such a thing was possible. In those days, the science of flight involved things like kites and gliders. Definitely not airplanes. But in 1903, some brilliant Ohioans invented the first airplane, and that changed the world of human flight forever. Yep, I'm talking about the Wright brothers, who were both from Dayton, Ohio. Orville and Wilbur Wright were inspired by a German man who built gliders. These gliders allowed people to experience the sensation of flying, but they were not easy to control and didn't have any engines to give them power. Gliding was quite a novelty at the time, and demonstrations of it drew captive audiences. While most people considered engine-powered flight to be the stuff of science fiction, the Wright brothers believed it could be done. Several years before building their first airplane, Wilbur Wright wrote to the Smithsonian Institute asking for any research on human flight that had been done already. He wrote, my observations have only convinced me more firmly that human flight is possible and practical. It is only a question of knowledge and skill. I have some pet theories as to the proper construction of a flying machine. I wish to avail myself of all that is already known and then, if possible, add my might to help on the future worker who will attain final success. The Wright brothers were willing to do the research, but also relied on lots of trial and error to get off the ground. Their early gliders at the beginning of the 20th century went through plenty of practice runs. The more they flew, or rather the more they crashed, the more they learned. The glider they made in 1900 was the first to be able to carry human. The next one, in 1901, they made with a larger wing. They made lots of flights on this one, sometimes attaching it to a string and using it like a kite to catch the wind. The brothers tested out their gliders near Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. They chose that spot because of the constant source of wind, and I'm sure landing in sand as opposed to the hard ground was also a plus. The brothers forged on, even creating their own wind tunnel in Dayton, where they could experiment with designs. In 1902, their glider was improved with a rudder that would let them steer where they flew. Look at Wilbur testing the glider out. They were super dedicated to learning how to fly, even though their flights were short and the gliders didn't have much, if anything, for a landing gear. In 1903, their famous first powered flyer took to the sky. It was the first machine to have a controlled and sustained flight with a pilot aboard. You can see how the flyer has many similarities to their past glider models, but they added an engine and propellers. The Wright brothers made their first successful flight on the sandy beaches of Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. That flight only lasted 12 seconds, and the airplane traveled just 120 feet in a straight line. We had to start somewhere, right? They returned to Dayton, Ohio with their airplane, which is where they perfected the design of a fully functioning airplane. After that, the Wright brothers became worldwide celebrities and the field of aviation literally took off. No Ohio is featured in full episodes of News Depth, a presentation of IdeaStream Public Media, connecting today's students to today's world. To know Ohio a little better, visit newsdeath.ideastream.org and click the Know Ohio button.